Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Today we show you beautiful TV walls, stands, TV mount designs, TV stand decoration ideas, and also give you some ideas on how to place your TV. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video. Televisions have come a long way from the small black boxes which displayed moving black and white images to now sleek and lightweight LCDs and LEDs. The simple cabinets that were used for housing these regular televisions in the past are also replaced by stylish contemporary TV stands. Since there has been a huge change in the shape, style and size of the television, the design of TV stands has also evolved. Now they are not only more attractive, but also more practical in use. There are plenty of reasons why you should consider purchasing a television stand. From ensuring a better viewing angle to enhancing the home decor, a good TV stand offers many benefits. Typically, it comes with shelves and drawers to store items like surround sound speakers, additional audio or video equipment, and your DVD collection. When it comes to selecting a stand for your television, there are a few things that you must keep in mind, such as your television size, room size, your storage needs, and your personal preferences. Whether you want to keep the TV stand in your office, bedroom, in the center of your living room, or tuck it away in the den, it is important that you choose one that perfectly complements the decor of your home. As we advance in technology over time, TVs have become thinner and more flexible in terms of placement. But at the same time, screens have become wider and TVs have more prominent features in our living rooms. Therefore, finding the perfect location is key. TVs are usually the focal point in the living room and bring family and friends together to share precious moments. To enhance the overall appearance of a living room, a TV stand is absolutely necessary. However, finding the right TV stand can be a daunting task. Regarding the size of the TV, if it is too small, the TV may fall down, but too big may ruin the aesthetics of the living room. As for the color and material of the TV cabinet, there are many options available. But which one will suit your living room best? There are so many things to consider before choosing your TV stand. We have some great ideas you can consider. Whether you're considering to mount your TV by a TV stand, you can get inspiration from this video and make a perfect decision that suits your home. We also show some great ways you can decorate and design your TV stand or TV wall. These ideas will motivate you and give you an idea of how to bring your home together. Before we can determine the size of your TV stand or TV unit, you must first measure the length, width and depth of your television. In most cases, a TV is measured diagonally. And remember to measure the frame of the TV too, to determine the overall size of your TV. Your TV stand must be at least several inches wider than the TV to ensure both safety and aesthetics. Once you've decided on the perfect coffee table for your home, accessorizing shouldn't be difficult. There are plenty of ways to decorate and accessorize your coffee tables. You can add a few books on the top 
add some candles, flowers in a vase, and other cute and beautiful pieces of decorations that match your aesthetics. In order for the living room to look well put together, a coffee table is needed amongst other essentials. So getting the right coffee table for your space is very important. When considering the size of your coffee table, the coffee table should be approximately the same height as the sofa cushions. When it comes to the coffee table length, get something that's at least two thirds the length of your sofa. The width of a coffee table should be half the sofa's width. A big coffee table in a small space with a small sofa isn't ideal and doesn't look good for the space. Just like having a big couch with a tiny coffee table in the center. This leaves so much space making the place look mismatched. In other words, a coffee table that doesn't match the size of the furniture in the living room will throw off the symmetry and proportion of a room, making it feel out of balance. A tip to consider is when setting up your coffee table is to allow your coffee table to be between 14 and 18 inches away from the seating. When choosing a coffee table, it's important to consider its shape. The most common shapes are rectangular, square, oval, and round. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages. For example, a rectangular coffee table is great for a living room with plenty of space for guests to move around. However, it can feel cold and formal in a small space. A round coffee table is more versatile and can be adapted to any size room. It's also ideal for entertaining because it's easy for guests to reach everything on the table. In case you opt for a rectangular coffee table, add softness to the coffee table by using a circular tray to house round planters and other edgeless items for a touch of warmth. One should be able to balance different colors, textures, and shapes. Still on the shapes, we often like to balance round and square shapes in a space. If you have decided on a coffee table with square corners, you might want to add a lamp with a round base. Or if you have a sofa with rounded arm sets, you might want to use a coffee table with sharp angles. By mixing and matching different shapes, you can create a space that bo feels both visually interesting and balanced. By placing your TV off-center, you can prioritize other features such as your furniture, artwork and decor. Taking off the TV as a main focal point also gives your room a more personable feel. One could also just mount their TV. Mounting your TV on the wall is a great way to save space in a small living room as you won't need to have a media console. A great way to disguise a TV is to incorporate it into a gallery wall. This is a great way to really inject some personality into your living space. You might want to consider artwork placed in a simple understated black frame. Or you might want to inject some burst of color and go for something a little more eye-catching. Floating TV cabinets mounted on walls can be very stylish and creative. 
In this way, it does not take up space on the floor, but rather on the wall, which tends to be more space efficient. By customizing the cabinet size, the floating TV unit can be easily adjusted to hold the TV at an optimal viewing distance. This is a brilliant way to transform your living room into a chic and modern space. A TV wall mount will often allow you to adjust the height of the TV to a comfortable viewing position and you can also conceal the cords and wires. Generally, a natural place to put a TV in a living room is on the media stand placed directly in front of the main couch, sectional, or sofa. Placing a TV on a media console provides storage space for your TV, as well as other media components such as a gaming console or a sound system. An entertainment center can serve as a focal point in your living room, creating a cozy and inviting atmosphere. If you don't want your TV to be the center of attention in your living area, you can place a TV stand in the corner of the room. Placing a TV in the corner of a living area is great if you don't want your television set to be the central focus of your room. It can free up lots of space in your room and could even offer you extra storage. For even more storage, opt for a TV unit that has built-in shelves so you can store cable boxes. Where you place your TV in a living area largely depends on your taste, as well as where your windows and doors sit to avoid glare and family members walking past, which will interrupt your viewing. However, there are other considerations, such as the size of your room, the space available to you, and the positioning of your furniture. A TV should be placed on walls which aren't high traffic areas and away from windows which can cause a glare on the screen. You should also think about the height you place a TV on a wall, as you don't want yourself or your guests suffering from neck strain. Also ensure your TV is at eye level for comfortable viewing. You might want to use TV mounts to hang the television on the wall or presuming you have the space, you could use a TV stand. Keeping your TV in the corner of your living area is ideal for those who don't want their TV standing out, yet still require a space with good viewing when they do not wish to watch TV. For an art gallery feel, try using photos, prints or posters of different sizes as TV wall decor. This will add pops of color and dimension to the wall, which is a great solution if you're trying to make your television less noticeable. Putting wallpaper on the wall behind your TV stand is a great way to create an accent wall and choosing a bright design will draw attention to that area. If you rent, opt for peel and stick wallpaper as it will be easy and less damaging to uninstall. If you're looking to create more storage solutions, opt for an entertainment center. While a TV stand can store a few things, an entertainment center provides more storage due to its large size. Many entertainment centers come with open shelving to display art, photos, and other decor. This functional yet beautiful option is a great way to decorate the wall behind your TV stand while also creating storage. Want to know how to decorate the wall behind your TV stand and make it look natural? Opt for natural building materials that would be featured in a home like wood, stone or bricks as TV wall decor. 
While real brick requires a professional installation, textured wallpaper is something you can DIY in a short amount of time. Opt for a brick textured wallpaper that will add natural charm to the wall behind your TV stand. For a cohesive wall, be sure that your wall accents and photos stay within the same color palette. One would opt for molding as it is great to dress up an any wall and placing it behind your TV stand will make it part of your focal point. Wooden paneling is a good solution for you if you're wondering how to decorate the wall behind your TV stand while trying to match your decor style. Using wooden planks to decorate your wall will create a cozy feel that matches well with various styles. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. We love and appreciate you all. God bless.